Hi. So in this recording, we will learn how to make this dashboard. And this chart shows different share prices for different companies across different time period. The first part is making this graph. And the second part is to find out whether the share prices are overpriced or underpriced based on the returns. So I will be giving the timestamp. You can watch directly how we find this or if you want you can just watch how we made this graph so let's begin so we are given with this data and in the first step we want to make chart for share prices of different companies so first step is let me take the data let me take a new sheet and rename it as dashboard now i will be copy pasting the company name control c control alt v and i will transpose them why i will know you in a while i am giving them unique ids one two now i will be merging these cells so that it can look static i will go to data under data validation choose list to the source choose all the company's name hit enter now you will get this beautiful list here you can select different different companies and accordingly here our chart will appear so before that i will i will be using vlookup function is equal to vlookup what is the lookup value this whatever i am selecting from where from here what output do i want do i want output from this column or from this column i want from second column i want an exact match enter i am getting this 7 i will tell you the relevance of this number so let me copy paste the dates because for making the chart we want share price and dates so date and share price but we have different different companies and we want share price for the companies which we have selected here so how to do do that so for that first of all uh, let me merge and center and let me give the reference of this so that it's easy to visualize that whatever the company we are selecting the share price belongs to that only so let me copy paste the date one thing to note there are total 995 observation and hence 995 dates it will be used control v now i will be selecting all these cells and i will be using offset function is equal to offset what is the reference so i will go to share price sheet then my reference is date first date and then it is asking me how many rows offset function is for jumping how many rows do i want to jump i don't want to jump in any row i want to be in the same row hence zero now it is asking me how many columns do i need to jump now come back to dashboard and select this vlookup output why i will let you know and what is the height height is this is asking for the output what is the output height this is nothing but 995 because there will be 999 995 share prices and what is the width width is one only close the brackets and control shift enter so this is what so basically what has happened when we used vlookup function vlookup gave us this number this 14 15 whatever so if we come to this share price and if this cell is our reference point then this is column one this is column two this is column three hence we are getting this beautiful changes here so if i just change the company's name see automatically share prices are changing and now it's very simple just go to insert line chart it has automatically de detected it but 
go to select data edit yeah if it has not selected then let me do how how to do it manually in the series name just select this sorry so first of all series value is this share prices and in the series name select this okay and on the horizontal axis i want dates to appear so okay see now you will be changing the company name and you will be getting different different graph showing share prices for different companies over the period of time so now next task is to check whether the share prices are underpriced or overpriced let's see how to do that to determine whether the share prices are overpriced or underpriced first of all we need to check whether the company is giving uh, returns which are more than average or below average and uh, we can take the help of CAPM CAPM is nothing but capital asset pricing model and if the average returns are coming out to be greater than CAPM then we will see our shares are underpriced and if it is less then we will be seeing these are overpriced so let's do it take a new sheet uh, let me rename it and rename it as share return share returns and similarly what we can do we can just copy paste first of all i have copy pasted all the dates and company names then i will be copy pasting the dates then how do we find return returns is nothing but is equal to log this period price divided by last period's price so this period divided by last period hit enter double tap and we are getting the share return for all the different time periods we will simply drag this in this direction so that we can get share returns for all the companies now what we will do we will just double tap for all the companies now once we have found all the returns for all the companies we will be going to dashboard and here what we can do is we can make another column for share return which will correspond to the company which we have selected share return and then what is the market return basically the nifty return so what we can do is equal to we will again be using offset function offset what is the reference this time the reference is from here maybe we can take how many rows do i need to jump i will be saying one this time i don't i don't want this because this is empty i want this so one what is the column we will be taking vlookup output what is the height height if you observe last time it was 995 this time it will be 994 because we are getting one less and what is the width width is one only so control shift enter so this we have got for one if we simply drag it this won't work so what first of all we have to select this array complete array then only we we will be applying the offset function is equal to offset what is the reference we can directly give reference this I don't want any jump in the rows. What is the column? Column is whatever the VLOOKUP is giving me. What is the height? Height is 994. What is the width? Width is 1. Clo close the bracket. Control Shift Enter. Now, this is the share return which we have got. And what is the market return? Market return is this here. 
control alt b as values i am pasting it so now let me check whether the share returns are changing or not yes it is working fine now let us merge them and give reference this only now what is the minimum share price what is the maximum share price and we can find the slope average return normal return normal return is nothing but capm only or i should be writing capm only then risk free return maybe whatever i am getting in fd risk free return and market return is equal to minimum is equal to maximum is equal to average average of return what is the slope is equal to how will be finding the slope just guess slope this range this these are my y these are dependent variables and what are my independent variables independent variables are this hit enter now we have got our slope also now average return we have already found now how to find capm capm is risk free return plus beta into market return minus risk free return so we will be using that formula only is equal to first of all give me the risk uh, risk free return let's say market rate for the fd is 7.3% this time let's say is equal to risk free return plus beta beta is nothing but slope slope into market return also market return i have not found let me find it out first is equal to average enter now capm is risk free return which is this plus slope which we also call refer as beta into market returns minus risk free return which is this hit enter and this we have got now we will be using if is equal to if average return is greater than this expected return then we say this is underpriced underpriced else we say overpriced so i have missed the bracket so oh sorry i have missed the double colon now we can do the coloring we can go to home conditional formatting highlight cell rules is equal to is equal to overpriced then we want to show it with red color now again we will go to home conditional formatting highlight cell rule is equal to if is equal to underpriced then we want to give it with green color maybe hit okay now see so we have found hdfc share price is underpriced for let's say itc it is overpriced and so on so i hope you have understood thanks